Many of Kenya's national parks, like Amboseli or the Masai Mara, are known all over the world. But there's one that's unjustly obscure. Most of what you can see elsewhere in the country can be found here in Nairobi. It's the only park on earth with this kind of wilderness, just 20 minutes drive from the center of the capital city. The coast is quite a different experience. 480 kilometers of sand, it's warm and sunny all the year round. More than half of it is protected by coral reef, making it very safe for scuba diving. There are national parks here too, but they're underwater. You don't have to be a scuba diver to enjoy the riches of Kenya's marine life. Simple goggling equipment can be hired anywhere along the coast. Here at Shimoni, you can take an organized trip to swim with the local dolphins. The main town on Kenya's coast is Mombasa. Its oldest quarters date back at least 700 years. To wander among the tangled streets is to peep into the shuttered world of Kenya's Swahili culture. After dark, there's a unique culinary experience. Only in Mombasa can you eat a gourmet meal on an Arab dhow as it snakes around the harbor. Mombasa is dominated by Fort Jesus, built at the end of the 16th century by the Portuguese. Further up the coast, there are plenty of ruins that show how the locals lived centuries ago. The Swahili town of Gedi has been abandoned for 300 years, but it's still possible to wander among the streets and to hear about its past from a guide. Further north still is Lamu, an old Arab trading town famous for its deliciously indolent atmosphere. Here you can spend hours strolling along the waterfront or just watching the town go by. The painting of henna on the hands and feet is a common sight all along the coast. You can even have it put on yourself if you're willing to live with it for a few weeks. The Kenya coast offers far more than a lazy fortnight on the beach. Deep sea fishing is one of several water sports for experts and beginners alike. From any of the main coastal towns, a party can hire a boat with an experienced crew to look after them. Kenya is less well known as a destination for skydivers. Every year, the blue skies and tropical warmth bring more and more visitors from the colder climes of northern Europe. It's beautiful, it feels so open. You jump out and there's a blue of the sky and the jade green of the sea. 
you can actually feel the air get warm about 4,000 feet. It suddenly gets warmer. And you know it's time to start thinking about opening your chute and coming into land. And then just flying around and listening to the sea roaring and the, the trees and landing on the beach is fantastic. And the Kenyans are going for it now. They're winding it up in the last lap. Kenya's high mountain ranges final. have given birth to many of the finest it's athletes in, in the world. These big open landscapes are great for horse riding all the year round. Tumbling down from Kenya's mountains are dozens of rivers that are perfect.